Howdy folks, I have a very exciting review for you today. This is the new FR Sky Tyrannus QX7 uh, from Banggood. This is a highly anticipated release from FR Sky. I'm a major fan of the Tyrannus and OpenTX. It's all I use. I won't use anything else. Uh, nothing else compares to it in my view. So this is the new lighter version of the Tyrannus, I guess. The, uh, the main Tyrannus costs uh, about $300 Australian uh, and the Tyrannus QX7 mm, maybe about $180, $170, something like that. So if you want to get into OpenTX and using the wonderful FR Sky system, this is the most affordable way to do it. <clears throat> Some stickers, a little bit of a pamphlety sort of thing there, uh, but seriously, it's not going to really tell you a lot about the, the radio. You really need to get online, uh, look at my videos and Painless 360 videos and uh, Richard Mrazek. Uh, check out these guys on YouTube and you'll find out lots and lots of great stuff about uh, Tyrannus and OpenTX. It is a learning process, but it's well, well worth it. It's uh, just simply the most powerful, the most adap adaptable, and the most versatile uh, radio programming system there is available. All right, so let's have a look. Here's the Beastie, and uh, it's a funky new design, a little bit like the uh, FR Sky Horus design, I guess. Uh, it comes in white or black, which is very cool. My wife keeps calling this the, uh, the eye tyrannus. Just whip it out here. Now there are a few differences between these two radios. Um, well, there would have to be for the $100 saving. We've lost a couple of switches on the top here. Uh, we still have the momentary switch on that side, uh, and I've actually swapped it over to that side on my full Tyrannus. We've lost the, the two front switches there, uh, which is fine. Uh, it has way too many switches anyway, I think. Uh, we've lost the sliders on the side, which may or may not be a big thing. Um, I actually use these sliders a lot, so uh, I would miss them if I, if I didn't have my full Tyrannus. But for models that don't need those sliders, there would be absolutely nothing wrong with using this. I could quite easily use this for all my models anyway. Yeah, it's just so good. And we have uh, a different uh, button system here. We've got a rotating knob and uh, three buttons over here, which is uh, very, very nice indeed. Much better than these, these sort of uh, old-fashioned buttons on the on the normal Tyrannus. We have an aerial that is uh, clipped onto the, uh, the main board so you can easily swap out the uh, aerial if you want to. Uh, on my original Tyrannus I actually broke off the aerial by dropping it and so I had to unsolder and resolder an antenna onto the board uh, which is a little bit scary to start off with. This one you can just unclip, change, no problems. We have the JR port in the back so you can add another uh, module. There's already a, a built-in FR Sky module in, in the radio. You can put a second one in here or uh, different sorts of modules as well. You can use uh, six AA batteries in there or it actually also comes with uh, this NIMH uh, 7.2 volt 800 milliamp hour uh, rechargeable battery which is a much better idea. Um, another difference between this and the, the full Tyrannus is that uh, the full Tyrannus has a charger plug there. You, you can't charge, charge the, uh, the battery in the radio with the Tyrannus QX7. A small thing, it could be because you can take the battery out and charge it anyway. Now one of the uh, neat things about this radio is that it doesn't really have a mode to start off with. All the gimbals are sort of spring centred. So, you have to open the Tyrannus, tighten or loosen or tighten up a couple of screws to decide which mode you want to use it in. I want to use mode 2, so I'll show you how to change it into a mode 2 or to define it as a mode 2 radio. Very, very simple. Uh, and then you can choose which mode you want the radio to understand in the, uh, in the setup of the radio. We have uh, an earphone port there and a trainer port there. And in the bottom, we have an SD card slot there, or a mini USB slot there for connecting it to you, your radio and uh, 
transferring, uh, updating the firmware, transferring your log files, looking at, at models and programming models on your computer using uh, OpenTX Companion, which is uh, another brilliant feature of these uh, OpenTX supported radios. The Tyrannus Q X7, um, if you want the voice commands and you want to record the logs, you do need, do need to put a, an, a micro SD card in there. It doesn't come supplied with one, but uh, I have one here. You download the contents of what needs to go onto the SD card from the FRSky uh, site, and I'll show you how to do that. And you can also download um, different accent uh, voice commands as well. I like the Australian lady's voice, so uh, I'll show you how to download the Australian voice commands as well. So once you have that all on your SD card, you just pop it in in the slot. And I'll put the, put the battery in. Uh, it takes 2S or 3S batteries as well, LiPos, if you want. Uh, that is a 2S balance port, so you can plug that straight in. Um, now, to charge this battery, you can't just plug it into the balance port of your charger, or at least you can't on mine. It, it won't recognise it as a valid battery. So I've actually made up a little adapter so that I can charge it using that plug. So battery's in. I've already charged this up as well. Turn it on. Throttle warning. There's, Switch warning. There's my nice Australian friendly lady telling me uh, that I had to have to set up the um, uh, the settings. You'll see the power LED on here gives different colours for different different states. That's red. It's telling me that there is. There are some warnings. Turns blue, we're ready to go. It has uh, haptic feedback as well, so it gives vibrations for, for alerts and beeps. Uh, you can record your own voice commands and put them on the SD card and assign them to different functions as well. It's just a ridiculously programmable and uh, versatile functioning radio. Further comparisons between the two radio, the Tyrannus Q has a smaller screen, but it's a little bit higher than the Tyrannus Plus, but the, uh, the font is bigger um, on the Tyrannus Q. They sort of use the, the real, estate, real estate of the, of the uh, screen a lot better than on the uh, Tyrannus Plus. On the Tyrannus Plus, you get a little bitmap image of the model, uh, which sort of forces it out wider. Uh, they've done away with, with that on the Tyrannus Q, so you just get a um, much more information in a, small, in a smaller area. It comes fully set up with uh, OpenTX 2.2.0, uh, which is absolutely fine. Uh, all I would do is uh, upgrade it to get rid of the, some of the unnecessary pages, really, which I probably won't even do anyway. Now, in the hand, uh, I'm so used to using the, the, the normal Tyrannus that uh, it just feels like home to me, but the Tyrannus X7 actually feels a little bit more secure. You've got more sort of a of a shape to grip onto on the back and it's nice sort of uh, rubberized uh, grips there. It feels a little bit wider but it's but it's thinner as well so you can get a better grip on it I think. Uh, the weight is about the same. Um, it looks a little bit wider but it's it's not actually all that much wider. I think it's just the way it looks a little bit shorter and a tiny bit slimmer. The new button navigating system is fantastic. It's a, a big improvement over the old style uh, where you've got the rotating knob and a push in the centre. The Tyrannus Plus comes usually with a, an 8XR receiver, which is about $50 worth of receiver. And uh, it's, it's kind of changing um, depending on what's, what's being sold or what the package being, is being sold. But at, at the moment, I think the Tyrannus QX7, you get a choice of three um, different sorts of receivers. One of them is the RX8R, which is uh, like an upgraded version of the X8R, uh, plus another couple of receivers. I, I really haven't caught up with them. So, uh, But anyway, it comes with about $50 worth of receiver uh, for about $180. This is quite simply the most powerful uh, radio for that price range available. It's just amazing.
Alright, so I want to set this up as a mode 2 radio, which means I have to release the spring centering on the left hand stick. So I'll turn it off, push and hold, and you can see the little shutting down sequence there. It gives you a little buzz as well. I want to put it on something soft there. Alright, now I'm going to uh, define the mode. First thing you should always do is pull the battery out four screws to undo and use a decent sized screwdriver so you don't strip those those screws all right that should be ready to come out now good that's ready to come out one thing we'll notice is that these uh, top switches stay as part of the uh, front of the casing the casing is totally free now which is makes it nice and easy that's the left hand gimbal and all we have to do is tighten up this screw which kind of pushes the the spring activating lever away so we'll just tighten that right down there yeah, that's pushed it right out of the way so so now that gimbal is totally free now we want a bit of friction on it uh, to hold it in place these two strips of metal here determine uh, how stiff you want the action this one with the indent gives it a ratchet feel and this smooth one just gives it the smooth feel. Uh, I want the smooth one, so I will just screw that down. So it's pushing against this little curve here. It's quite stiff. A little bit more. There we go. That feels like a normal throttle lever now. Let's just check that out. Excellent. And you can adjust that, you can have it ratcheting if you want to, or just free movement like this is. Mode 2 conversion done, except we have to make sure it's uh, selected in the radio. Let's do that as well. Just put the back back on. Doing up the last screw now. Plug the battery back in. So long press of the menu button gets it to the radio setup and we scroll down to the bottom. Here we choose the mode, so get it flashing, then you can choose mode 1, mode 2, mode 3, mode 4. I want mode 2, select it, done. Now I want to set up the date as well. This is the absolute first time I've used this, so this is going well. Uh, what is it, about the 11th, I think, or 12th? Using different batteries, you can set up uh, the different range for the alarms, low voltage alarms, uh, the vario volume and pitch you can muck around with. I've shown that in a previous video. Haptic, that's the, the feedback buzz, contrast, battery low at 6.5, and alarm after 10 minutes of inactivity, alarm for memory low, um, backlight duration, now I prefer to have the back, backlight on all the time really, uh, but let's do it at uh, say a minute. So now I'll show you how to set up the SD card for voice commands. And I've been using uh, SanDisk Ultra cards, but there's not a great demand on the card, so you can use just about any, any micro uh, SD card that you've got. First step is to go to the FRSky uh, site and go to products, click on radios and select the QX7 and in the downloads tab you'll see there's the SD card contents there. So just click on that and download it. That downloads a zip file to your computer. So once you have the zip file, unzip it, gives you a little folder full of all bits and pieces and you just copy all of those files as they are onto your SD card. There's quite a few files, so it takes a little bit of uh, copying time, a couple of minutes maybe. So once that's done, just make sure they're actually on the SD card. To tweak it a bit further and have your own country's accent as the voice commands, you need to download and open OpenTX Companion, which is the companion uh, app or program that uh, works with OpenTX. 
click the download button or arrow there and click the download voice button there and that will take you to the latest sets of uh, voice commands in different accents. Um, I'm going for the Australian Tyrannus set. Download them as a zip file. And once that's done, close down Companion. And there's the zip file. Need to unzip that. And it gives you a folder. If you open the folder, you'll see it has the little EN or English uh, sound set. So you just need to copy that onto your SD card and replace the existing one in the uh, sounds folder. So that's the existing one. You can just rename that as something else. I'll just rename it as old EN. And then you just copy the downloaded set of accented voice commands into the sounds folder on your SD card. And once that's finished, you can eject the card, pop it into Tyrannus, and you're good to go with accented voice commands. So if you're at all contemplating getting into OpenTX, the wonderful, wonderful world of OpenTX and Tyrannus radios, then this is a brilliant entry point. Uh, it would quite easily do as your only radio you ever need. It is that powerful. Uh, it's uh, just about half the price of the Tyrannus Plus with very very little uh, missing. Only the sliders and a couple of switches and the uh, charging circuit. Uh, it's just a brilliant radio. I can't say enough about it. Just fantastic. Thanks to Banggood for sending it for the review and purchase links are in the description below and thanks for watching.